matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? Megumi-san. You know where the track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight, what should I make? Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. We've had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. Natsuno-san's over there. Again. Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry, but I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. Amazing. The shrine's hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! Whoa, hey, uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? Whoa, hey, and... Nats... There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I just want to go home. I 
Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <sighs> I'll figure out how to deal with the sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? Please. Fine. Activate gate. Setting coordinates to Sector 5. Initiating shift. Data unit. So it was with Natsuno Minami all this time. <sighs> Are we back? Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. We can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. All right, let's go. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. <sighs> What's going on? The place is deserted. The factory and station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so that thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, Everyone was gone. Wait. If people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? <sighs> That's... Tamao-san! <sighs> what happened? Please calm down, Miss Morimura. Yeah. Chihiro-chan! Where do you plan on taking her? Yeah. I apologize for what I've done to you. But you have no reason to worry. Yeah. Wait! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. Uh. Tamaho-san! She disappeared. Universal control has shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there. 
until this world comes to an end. Bad news. Let me. Uh, I think it's cool. The paper. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Sorry, Shiba Kun. I have to drop off these papers. Should have told me sooner. Well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Shiro. Oh. Hey, about what you said on the stairs the other day. Miss Morimura's not here. Shinonome, senpai. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. She had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. Izumi? Haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome-senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse's office, too. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. So, I thought... Senpai, my name is Kurabe, Juro Kurabe. <sighs> That's right. <sighs> so you know him too, Juro Izumi? <sighs> Juro Izumi is you. But right now... You've been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. What was this... incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here. Back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Jiro Izumi. The 
is just crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. Crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. Whoa, you're still here? Shibakun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so I thought I'd come looking for you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. Are you all right? No, I'm not. And neither are you. <sighs> Freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. Let's go home. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Hey, don't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's place? You didn't bring it up today. Well, I beat the game, so now we can hang out, you and me. Where do you want to go? Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag. No one's checked it out yet. Let's go. <sighs> We're out of luck, man. Video stores closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, I saw that on TV. That was our video store? So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? We don't have much of a choice. Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Is something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. Huh? You don't need to play innocent. You are a Sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. Uh, what happened? You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your Sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. That did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. Who are you talking to? This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyutashiba. Where 
is he? What? Shibakun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but it's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mirakun. Wait. I think this has happened before. <sighs> So, did you check out that video I lent you? Yep. Watched the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. But you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So, I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh, yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um, why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Think of it. I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Hey, Kurabi kun I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. Kisaragi san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shibakun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um, Kurabi-kun. There's no one named Shiba here. <sighs> Say something, Shiba-kun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank? Or are you talking to ghosts? Either way, it's not funny. Me? A ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. Shiba-kun. What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um... We grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. Are you okay? You're taking... It... It's odd. When I think about grade school, I don't remember him at all. I can't remember any times in middle school either. It's odd. What? I can't... Shiba-kun? You said you've been with me all this time, but... I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? Should have known you'd figure it out. What do you mean? Guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? Here, take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and watch it carefully. <sighs> okay. Wait! Calm down. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... <gasps> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful, I blow my cover. 
Who are you? Artificial personality, 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. In other words, Qta Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Qta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there, aren't they? Oh, but don't worry. Leave things to me and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. Mine. Calm yourself. There's no one here. But he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba-kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Just forget about the world for a bit. And watch this. You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No. Stop! Jiro-kun! <laughs>